Well, most people don't really realize how much time it takes to make an outdoors YouTube channel. Stop, fool! It's not just some thing where you just flip on the camera and start yapping, you know? It takes time to plan out the videos, plan your trips, plan what you're gonna do, plan for any event, you know? And then life happens. I got my jug, man. Jug thief, not my jug, my uh, my mental trap. I left it out, tell it to one of my little floats. It's gonna see, let it stay overnight, just to see. It's gone, somebody got it. Oh, I mean, I remember when I was working the day job, the old day job at the chicken shack, I didn't have very much time at all to do my YouTube channel. So what I did then was focus on short how-to videos, two, three minute videos where I could get out here, film a quick how to tie this knot or how to rig this or how to do that and then put that up on YouTube. Or if I was doing something with my mud boat or I'd shoot that and put that up on YouTube. I, I really tried to focus more on how-to videos uh, when I just didn't have a lot of time. We got 10 jugs out right now. Wind is light and somewhat shifting. Got this rod here, gonna see if we can't drift up a few brim or bluegill. Today is the new moon, so this should be really like the best fishing of the month. Haven't had a bite yet on the jugs, so we don't, I don't know. In fact, the reason I started YouTube was because I was already selling fishing tackle on eBay. And my customers kept asking me, how do I rig this? Or how do I fish this? I, I, you know, I like the way it looks, it's really well made, but how do I use it? So I started the YouTube as a customer service thing. Just teaching them how to use the product. Nothing so far. Sometimes it's good to just get into this swift current, drift back down and pull a couple of drifts like that, see if you can find them that way. some night crawls you can usually do pretty well on bass believe it or not drifting right around in here so, but, I don't, but I don't have any night crawlers as my skills grew and I start to study video editing the editing got better then I started studying documentary storytelling and the storytelling got better and you end up with what you see today. Time is the one commodity that everybody has exactly the same 
amount of time. Everybody has 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you know, 52 weeks a year, you know. No one has the corner market on time other than the one who invented time. I think, too, with most anything, you really have to do a true life assessment. You need to just sit down, look at your life, where you are, where you'd like to go, and determine if you do have the time to have an outdoors YouTube channel. The reality is, you may be in a time of life where it's, you can't do it. Right? You, it's just, you just don't have the time and you just may need to wait. That's okay. It's okay. Um, it, you have to make that decision though. I mean, no one else can. You know, the best way to save time in your video, especially for editing, is to shoot editing. Shoot by editing. In other words, if you've seen the ba if you go to the basic shots that I have over on the Teachable page and you only shoot those shots and you only shoot the shots that you're going to use, then when you get to your editor and your computer, it's just a matter of stitching together those shots and then there's your story. You're editing in camera as opposed to just turning on the camera and blabbering to no end and trying to edit it all out. One way to save time is to edit in camera by only shooting the shots you need. If it's a three second shot, maybe shoot five seconds to kind of get in and out. But if you only need a three second shot, only shoot three, four, five seconds and then that's it. You just put it, now you can get it in the NLE. If you shoot five minutes worth of footage and out of that five minutes worth of footage, you only use three seconds worth of sh footage out of that, that's a huge waste of time. So you can save time by editing in the camera itself. I think Alabama's playing Ole Miss at 2 o'clock, 2.30, so it's either get out ahead of the game day traffic or try to get back home before the game's over. I don't really like being around town when there's a game in town here. And that's essentially what I do. I only shoot the shots that I need. And I usually shoot them a little long. Uh, and uh, But I... The number one thing you need is a lot of coverage so you can have options. If you're shooting a lot of short little shots, you can cut them in very interesting ways like you see here. Notice what I'm doing. I shot a fishing trip a few weeks back in September and yet I'm sitting here doing an interview today and I'm cutting the two together to make one video. I can take that same footage and do nothing but a true video or I can take this footage and do nothing but a talking head. Hey, I ain't biting. I'm going home. 